Good day and welcome. I'm Ashwin Gunasekaran, the CEO of Penang Convention Exhibition Bureau, or PSAP, and the chair of ICA Asia Pacific Chapter. Thank you for joining us for this year's BE at Penang 2020. I would like to share a special presentation on how Penang has been leveraging on collaborations and taking the first step in leading the industry to its revival through business events Penang Rejuvenation Plan. 2020 was a year that was supposed to be a grand year for the tourism and business events industry. But the universe had other plans. Now, not only do we have to rebuild our business, but also navigate safely in a world where the threat of COVID-19 continues to grow. Starting our journey to recovery takes strategic replanning, which involves focus on crisis response action plans and boosting confidence to the international meetings industry. It began with centering safety at heart, and that was what we did in Penang for our next normal planning. We had to ensure that the safety of those working in the industry, safety of the hotels and venues, and the safety of destination to ensure that the safety of the delegates can be guaranteed. At the height of the movement control order that was imposed in Malaysia, that saw the borders closing and no interstate travel and no business events to be held, the Bureau started working on our recovery strategy, which we aligned to the strategies of the Penang State Government. We laid out our foundational stones, which we identified as these five key values that would guide our recovery stages. Firstly, reimagine then reform, reinforce transparency and presence, and last but not least, rebuild. Now, we reimagined how business events would move forward for Penang in the next normal. Through this, we formulated the business events Penang rejuvenation plan for the next three years. We identified three key trusts that would drive the recovery plan for Penang. Firstly, collaboration. Secondly, digitalization. And last but not least, support program. Then, we had to change or reform the way events are to be conducted once the government green-lighted business events to restart. To ensure that we had devised a set of guidelines that was informed by the industry for the industry. PSAP set up the next normal task force, who then designed a comprehensive set of guidelines for organizing business events in Penang that met international health and safety standards for COVID-19. The task force of 29 members were segmented into six committees based on these sectors. Hotels, convention centres, unique venues, destination management companies, transportation and event suppliers. Each committee designed the guidelines for their very own sector and vetted the entire set of guidelines. Named Next Normal Guidelines for Business Events Penang, this document was endorsed by the Penang State Government, the Malaysian Association of Convention and Exhibition Organizers and Suppliers, MASIOS, the Malaysian Association of Hotels, Penang Chapter, and Association of Tourism Attraction, Penang, and as well as the Penang State Health Department. When we organized the launch of these guidelines, it was in fact the first business events in Penang and the first event at the Satya Spice Convention Centre once the government lifted off the moratorium on organising events. It also became the first event that was run in full adherence to the guidelines and was a prime standard of how business events in the future 
are to be held in Penang. Once the guidelines was launched, the Bureau visited all hotels, venue partners in the state to ensure they implemented the SOPs and all measures recommended were in place. Moving on, we had to relook at the landscape for Penang's business events. A drastic change was expected due to the pandemic, which resulted in event cancellations and postponement. For the events that were scheduled to take place in year 2020, the Bureau took the initiative to continue liaising with the organisers to ensure confirmed international conferences for year 2020 or 2021 and 2022 would remain in Penang and not to be cancelled. This way, we will be able to remain existing events as well as continue to work on future events. We also increased our international marketing in order to keep Penang on the business events radar through the Penang Here for Tomorrow campaign, which I will elaborate shortly. Once the reform stage was in order, we moved on to reinforce, where we doubled our efforts to establish collaborative relationship with the Asia-Pacific. We identified specific key markets in which collaboration would yield greater market penetration. Among the identified potential partners included government agencies, corporates, associations and other destinations as well as the airlines. This, as all of you would agree, is a vital component of our business and reinforcing collaboration and growing collaborative partnership will be an ongoing process. Besides that, the Bureau also carried out targeted sales activities through four phases to our stakeholders starting from the domestic phase and proceeding upwards to the regional, global and even involving government collaboration. For your information, India has been in Penang's top five market and PSAP has been capitalising on Penang's rising popularity there. Starting with the Penang Roadshow to India, which began in 2018, we are working towards a collaboration with the Indian filming industry to arrange a Penang fam for the Indian producers and directors, as well as looking at organising the first Indian Film Festival in Penang. Besides that, we are also leveraging on a collaboration with the Indian Ad Makers Association to discuss for a potential short film on Penang, as well as adopting an Indian celebrity as Penang's travel ambassador. In order for us to reinforce, we need to ensure that there is transparency and presence in our communication. The global pandemic has left us all in a volatile atmosphere where any sudden spikes of cases threaten to shut down the economy or restrict movement. Time and time again in the past few months, we have seen the introduction of travel bubbles and the retraction or reclosure due to the spike in cases. Therefore, it is of utmost importance to maintain open and timely communication with all stakeholders, which for us in Penang includes the Penang State Government, the industry players, clients, associations and media we are affiliated with. We ensure that we heighten our social media presence by running time-sensitive campaigns, delivering the right news and updates to clients and partners, and engaging the media on the development of business events, Penang, and the initiative of the Bureau. We also continued our presence at existing international trade shows, which some are happening virtually, 
to ensure the market we target knows that Penang is ready for business when the time has come or international travel to resume. Once our business events Penang Rejuvenation Plan began gaining momentum and received buy-in from the stakeholders, we started working to ensure the plan was on track. We reinforced engagement with our industry partners and clients, taking into their accounts and their needs. This was a healthy sign that Penang was now in the rebuild stage. Here in Penang, efforts to revive tourism and business events industry are continuously carried out by the Penang State Government as presented by the Honourable Mr. Yeo Soon Hin, the Penang State Exco for Tourism and Creative Economy, as well as the Bureau's Chairman. On the business events front, the Bureau ran the Penang Here for Tomorrow campaign, which is a special marketing campaign targeted to boost domestic travel during the period when there was a moratorium on business events to ensure the hotels and attractions managed to get business. This included the social media campaigns where we assisted in sharing various stay and meet packages by partners in encouraging domestic travellers to visit and stay at Penang hotels. The campaign revolved around reimagining Penang's existing products to meet the new trend of eco, safe and adventure. Through still including the same Penang brand, it included a new action plan that includes international participation. This coupled with the message that Penang is ready to serve and support business events clients through the COVID-19 pandemic and beyond. To further incentivize organizers, we developed special souvenirs of handmade batik masks and the remaking of the business events Penang Turtle Soft Toy now wearing face masks for impact messaging. The three key messaging for Penang Here for Tomorrow that is carried out at all trade shows, media and client engagements are Firstly, Penang, meeting of the future. This messaging leverages on Penang's enhanced connectivity and digital infrastructure to cater to hybrid and virtual events and facilities and infrastructures that many green technology with multi-purpose utility. Secondly, Penang, experiences beyond the classroom. This showcases Penang's curated incentives within and beyond our offerings of unique venues and conference halls, where we are able to incorporate cultural diversity through different meeting elements. Delegates get to experience local arts and crafts, hands-on led by celebrated heritage artisans and workshops which will allow delegates to create their unique Penang souvenirs. And last but not least, Penang, nature at your doorstep. Now, this is where Penang's greenery, a thriving green lung that is an eco-biosphere, ushers a welcomed break for delegates. They get to bask in the healing power of Mother Nature, learn about the biodiversity of Penang, both on land and in the sea, and learn in our natural playground, which we are glad to have the habitat, bring you through the activity called forest bathing later on. Last but not least, we have also developed a unique CSR program that allows conferences to continue back to nature, conservation and build a legacy through our collaboration with the Penang Turtle Sanctuary. International conferences and incentives will get to tap into all of the plus special support from the Bureau through our Enhanced Privilege Penang program for the next three years. This also includes a special bid support for event organisers where we will provide assistance throughout the bidding process 
from preparing the necessary documents all the way towards securing the event. We must say, we are seeing positive results from the work being done through this time of global crisis as Penang has secured several events for the next few years. Partners and friends of the industry, I hope my presentation today has given you an insight to reimagine and rebuild your business strategies for the next years to come. 2021 is going to be a year of recovery for the industry and I would like to re-emphasize on the importance and the power of collaboration. We need to band together, work towards the common goal of rejuvenating business events for our destinations. Once again, I would like to comment that we are an industry of resilience and that the industry has always been about solutions rather than challenges. Our PSAP team, together with the Penang State Government, will be glad to provide any assistance for you to revitalize your business. Let us all be inevitable together. Business Events Penang, assemble. Thank you.